Cotton or polyester? This has been a hot topic ever since artificial fibers were invented. Do you have a preference or are you comfortable with just about anything? We don't know about you, but we do have one and we'd like to know more about yours in the comment section. But wait, some of you might be wondering, how can someone have a preference when it comes to something as trivial as fabric? Well, we here at PrintBest fulfill print-on-demand orders for customers like you all the time, and we have the stats to back our choices. However, you might not know what separates cotton from the synthetic fabrics that are widely in use. If you're even thinking about selling clothes in an online store, you need to start learning what qualities separate all these fabrics so that you can offer only the very best for your customers. Hi, I'm Grace from PrintBest.com, and today we'll help you differentiate between the types of fabrics available for t-shirts. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on a single video from us. This is one of those topics that you don't realize the importance of until and unless you have to make a decision. Even though selling t-shirts online is easy to do and doesn't require you to have a lot of technical knowledge, understanding the fabric of your t-shirts can be a little tricky. This is because most of us don't give it much thought when we're buying clothes for ourselves. Usually the brand that manufactures the clothes has to account for the comfort of its customers. However, when you're the one who has to account for another person's comfort, the picture changes. If you can determine what kind of audience you're targeting, what their requirements are, and what they want, you can rest assured that the orders will only increase over time. So without further ado, let's get to it and learn how to easily choose between cotton and polyester. The first thing you need to know about cotton is that it's a much more breathable fiber compared to polyester. This breathability is what makes cotton so unique and suited to different types of climates. So if your customer base is located all over the world or specifically in warmer climates, then cotton is the obvious safe choice. Polyester, on the other hand, isn't nearly as breathable as cotton is, and this can be troublesome in humid weather. However, the one thing going for polyester that cotton doesn't have on its side is wrinkle resistance. Pure cotton can wrinkle very easily and it's a hassle to get rid of those pesky wrinkles. You'll have to use an iron if you want to wear t-shirts made out of pure cotton, and if you don't, then your t-shirt might look like a crushed paper ball instead. Polyester is very much wrinkle resistant and there will rarely be a time when you'd want to iron it. Not only does cotton wrinkle more easily, but it usually shrinks after a wash as well. This is why so many clothing manufacturers are now switching over to hybrid mixes of the two. Clothes are now being produced with some, some percentage of both the different types of fibers to get the very best of both worlds. However, any fabric that has more cotton than polyester will end up shrinking and getting wrinkly much faster. If budget is your sole concern, then cotton will most likely be your best bet as synthetic fibers are a little more on the expensive side. Cotton grows in fields and has been cultivated by humans for thousands of years, dating as far back as the Indus Valley civilization. This proves that cotton is a hardy crop that's relatively inexpensive to grow. However, polyesters have to be made using special processes. Now, don't get me wrong, cotton can be expensive, very expensive. However, that usually applies only to the more premium varieties of cotton only. You might want to choose polyester because of its resistance to fading and abuse. Polyester is a rather strong material compared to regular cotton. That's why polyester fabric doesn't fade out as easily either. However, cotton is infamous for slowly losing its sheen and its shape. Not only this, but polyester is also less prone to getting stained due to accidental spills. Cotton, on the other hand, is very absorbent once processed and can easily soak up any kind of spill. This is a dual-edged sword as the absorbency of cotton is highly desirable when it's used as a rag, but maybe not so much when we're talking about t-shirts. If you look closely, then you might have noticed that most athletic wear is usually made of polyester and not cotton. The reason behind this is that polyester is a moisture wicking material and it'll automatically absorb your sweat while you're exercising and playing. Cotton will also absorb the moisture, just not as well as polyester does. Athletes also need clothes that don't fade in color after prolonged use, and polyester checks that criteria as well. However, the biggest disadvantage of using polyester is its impact on the environment. All synthetic fibers are made artificially with processes that are usually bad for the environment. Polyester constitutes PTA and MEG and is made using a chemical reaction of petroleum, air, and water. Since it's a thermoplastic and it can be melted and reshaped, however, the overall recyclability is low in real world scenarios. Polyesters don't decompose as easily as cotton either, and burning it can lead to air pollution. Contrary to popular belief, even cotton can be harmful to the environment too, depending on how it's grown. If the cultivator has used a lot of pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, and chemical fertilizers, then cotton is just as bad, if not worse, than polyester. However, if the cotton is grown organically, it's much better than any other alternative. 
At the end of the day, you can sell t-shirts made of whatever material you want and people will still buy them. However, if you wanna sell in larger numbers and appeal to more customers, then you'll have to profile them and understand what they want. If your buyers want polyester t-shirts only, then trying to provide them with an organic cotton solution won't help. And if they want the comfort of cotton, there's no point in selling them the idea of a polyester t-shirt. A lot of it also depends on the kind of product that you're offering and how you wanna position yourself in the market. If you wanna sell athleisure, party wear, or sportswear, then polyester wins by a huge margin. However, if you're selling casual t-shirts or something to layer on, cotton will be a strong contender. So try to do your homework and find out what's working on the market. Both fabrics have been in the market for a considerable amount of time, and they're both equally viable. We at Printfest have been printing t-shirts for quite some time. We receive orders for almost as many polyester t-shirts as we do for cotton ones. So try to understand your offerings and your buyers inside and out, and only then you'll be able to figure out what to sell and what not to sell. Once you know what you want to sell, just contact our support team at Printfest and we'll help you fulfill all of your printing needs. So that's it for this video, folks. We'll see you soon with another brand new amazing video. Do make sure to hit the like button and share this video as much as possible to educate everyone about the differences between different types of t-shirt fabrics. Also make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on more of these amazing videos in the future. So we'll see you next time.